Yes. The ambitions of King Nemesis were crushed, averting what could have Yeah, him and his undead ass slipper have an ass, not even Crocs, like come on. Oh. God damn. Welcome to the Goddess Tower. Hello, Leone. I've come to shit in the tower. What are you doing here? I was talking to Gerald. What the f- No, no you weren't. What? No. So close that the war's finally over. He wasn't alive the for the war. Greatest apprentice. It is uh, amazing okay. There, but I was nothing compared to you. I know, right? Guyleth fucking to clutched that. I have managed to keep my Those crits. Ugh. Oh, I get it. You're probably pretty tired of me always trailing after you, huh? I think it's the part where you talk about my father, who is dead. Love? Anyway. As in... As in the way a commander loves his soldiers, right? Of course that's what you mean. No, no, no. Here is a ring. That kind of love. Can this really be happening? No, this is an illusion. If I can get you to stop talking about my father by marrying you, then maybe I just might do it. Yes, I'm really wearing this ring then, aren't I? Well, are you? Show me. Stop talking about my father. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's horrible. What have they done to her face? <laughs> Her chin is so pointy. It's like one of the options you have when creating a me. What the fuck? <laughs> That's horrible. Oh. 27 turns. My god. And not a single one of these is gonna say that they're fucking dead. I don't care about any of these people. Just... Get me to my students. Lysithia, oh, Lys Lysithia was alone? What the fuck? How? She had so many S's. What the fuck? Lysithia returned home to help her parents restore their family land. Years later, when the end of their wor hard work was finally in sight, she relinquished House Odelia's claim to nobility, ceded the territory to a nearby lord. Shortly thereafter, she and her family disappeared into obscurity, and she... Yeah, passed. Goddamn. H excuse me, what? Hilda returned to her territory and founded the first Artisian Academy in Fodlan. Years later, as the successful headmaster of that school, she journeyed to Garrickmark to make a donation to the church. There she encountered Cyril, who had graduated from the Office Acad Officer's Academy and joined the Knights of Saros. When each saw how much the other had grown and matured, a mutual attraction between them blossomed naturally into love. What the fuck? Cyril eventually left the church to become a knight of House Goneril. Ah, strange. At the invitation of Hilda's brother, Holst. Okay, that's even stranger. Interesting. As Holst's new brother-in-law, Cyril provided essential aid in negotiations with House Goneril's Almiron neighbors. My god. Oh, Ferdinand and Marianne. Marianne is the best, so... F Ferdinand had 44 battles. <laughs> Two victories. <laughs> My god. Ferdinand announced his marriage to Marianne just after becoming the new Duke Aya. With the support of Margrave Edmund, they set to work restoring Aya terri territory. The support of Marianne's adoptive father was essential, but not sufficient for the relief effort. As more difficulties arose, Marianne herself took on an increasing amount of responsibility. She proved quite capable and dedicated, and the dukedom progressed through a steady recovery under the couple's collective efforts. It is said that Ferdinand commissioned a bronze statue of his wife to honor her achievements. <laughs> But Marianne ordered it to be hidden away in storage for all of eternity, never to see the light of day, or she would die from the embarrassment. My god. Oh no, Raph is marrying Ignatz's sister. 
<laughs> Ralph returned to his own town to serve his liege lord as a knight and spent his spare time helping out at the inn. Wait. No, it's Ignat's I mean, Ralph's sister. Whoops. He was compelled to give up knighthood and, and managed the inn full time. However, when his sister Maya suddenly declared her ambition to become an artist and vanished years later when she finally returned she did so in the company of another artist her husband ignatz with cheerful support from raphael's family ignatz and his wife rose to prominence and with their unique style set the artistic paradigm in fodland for a generation wow they both had roughly the same amount of battles huh interesting claude 548 battles and Lawrence, why the- This is- So this is why Lysithia didn't get any fucking marriage partner. The guys all married each other or some shit. What the fuck? God damn it, you two. Ugh, Claude disappeared from Fodlan after the war, leaving the new head of House Gloucester, Lawrence, to support the new United Kingdom of Fodlan in his steed. He proposed revolutionary policies to restore the war-torn region at a rapid rate. When the rebuilding effort was complete, Lawrence turned his eye toward diplomacy, seeking to establish treaties of friendships with foreign nations. Almira was no exception, and when the two parties met for a summit at Fodolin's Locket, it was none other than Claude, the new king of Almira, who arrived to negotiate. Some speculated that this meeting had been Claude's scheme all along, but Lawrence and Claude both denied it. You fucking assholes. Marrying each other, you bastards. Anyway, Gyleth married his marriage to Leone shortly after becoming leader of the United Kingdom of Fodolin. Though she accepted the status of queen, Leone disliked the pagan pagantry of the position and refused to part with her weapons. She avoided court and instead founded the Geralt Company, an elite group of soldiers handpicked from the Royal Guard. They mostly busied themselves by hunting down bandits and monsters. But they also stopped the remnants of the Imperial Army from organizing a revolt. It is rumored that one knight of rare skill who fought alongside Leone in the Geralt Company was in none other than the king himself. Wow. I'm an... I'm Archer Man. You couldn't have called the company like the Blade Breakers or some shit. No. The Geralt Company. God damn. Terrible naming sense. Just a little bit more successful than the last playthrough. <laughs> that last one where everybody fucking died. Because I was an idiot. I remember that too. I could have literally just had Gyleth. Oh, it wasn't Gyleth. It was Jolith. Ugh. Could have just had Jolith face tank Raya the entire time. But anyway. Bam done my god oh just a little more successful i might be doing a blue lions maddening with a similar gimmick to this although there won't be a rule set it'll just be do the shit for fun if i do do it no promises but in the meantime i have a pokemon game to finish and i should probably do that oh that was um the end of that was slightly nerve-wracking. Just, just a little- actually no, I had all of that calculated from the very beginning. I knew it would be easy. Uh, no difficulties at all. I knew that- that Mercedes Lusamine person was gonna dodge six, seventy hits in a row. Yeah, I knew that would happen. I calculated all of it so I would use all of my divine pulses and just look extra cool. Yes, that's what I did. Ah, oh, God, I'm so smart. 